A neighborhood once affordable to families is now the district with the highest number of evictions in San Francisco. Not being able to afford rent in the mission many times leads to families being left out on the streets. It's very hard for the, the moms or the fathers to, to think every day that where they can be on the night, where they can take a meal. Both the principal and vice principal at Buena Vista Horace Mann School came up with a plan to house some of their families at the school. They'd be greeted by a warm meal. Um, they'd have a place to do their homework. They would be able to relax, not have to think about where they're going to spend the night. The San Francisco Unified School District estimates there are more than 2,000 of their students considered homeless. They are often referred to as housing insecure students, meaning they don't have a safe and secure place to sleep at night. The idea is to house about 20 families inside one of the gyms. San Francisco Supervisor Hillary Ronan is now spearheading the proposal. The money to fund the temporary shelter would likely come from City Hall and possibly private donations. The cost to run the shelter would be between $700,000 and $900,000 a year. It would cover sufficient staffing to have a high level of security um, the whole from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. For now, the city and the school district are working out the details before it's considered by the school board. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.